Hey, what's up, YouTube? Evan Star again, and it's time for another painting video. This time we're working with uh, Anima Tactics Legacy of Solomon. Now, this is a very large miniature, so most of what I'll be doing is airbrush. Um, starting in with an undercoat of Spellsinger Blue. This is from the Minotaur line of paints. Um, and uh, just generally speaking, uh, Minotaur Blue, their blues are fantastic. So, uh, just doing a bit of airbrush there with Spellsinger Blue. And next up, I'm going to be coming in with the Werewolf Gray. Um, so I'm going to be doing, you know, your typical highlight scheme. Um, the undercoat is that Spellsinger Blue. Uh, so most of this, uh, I'm going to cover most of the model with the Werewolf Gray. And uh, what's interesting about this model is um, it's a very large, very tall model. It's a hundred percent metal, so it's a very heavy model. I've got it on a secret weapon cobblestone base, and uh, and it's very anime themed. So I can get away with a lot regarding this airbrush technique. So there's the uh, the werewolf gray, and now I'm going to come in. I believe I'm coming in with some sky blue. Now every single time I come in, I'm uh, doing a highlight closer and closer towards the edge of the model and just covering um, less and less area of the model. This is pretty normal, uh, my normal airbrush technique. Um, if you are wondering what I'm using, I am using a uh, the Harder Steenbeck Ultra. Um, and I've got, I'm down to somewhere between 10 to 15 PSI. And uh, that's pretty normal for me when I'm doing these uh, highlights. Um, so you'll see uh, I actually give it a couple of highlights of this sky blue because this is going to be a, a dominant color in my color scheme. Um, it looks white on camera and I think a lot of that has to do with the amount of lighting I had uh, going on here. Now finally, my final highlight is going to be also with Minotaur, so I'm still in the Minotaur line. Um, this is skull white. You can see how tight I am. I'm in really tight, so now I'm at like 10 PSI, maybe even a little bit lower, uh, and I'm targeting specific parts of the model. So, very tight highlight. Um, again, I love the harder Steenbeck um, in its ability with the uh, very fine needle to come in that tight uh, and keep a nice clean uh, gradient there between the blues, the grays, and finally the white. So, um, I do realize that. Uh, Lately, I've been using a lot of airbrush. Um, this is just a model that's kind of screaming for airbrush, um, especially with the art uh, that and the studio paint scheme. Um, you'll see uh, it's just kind of nice gradients. Um, there's a lot of detail to this model, but what I love about it is it's not that you know irritating painting in borders or edging or anything like that. This is this is detail that's going to stand out on its own and ultimately what you all, all you really want to do is just have really good uh, highlighting and lighting effects with the model. So uh, now I'm going to come in I believe this is um, with a wash. Am I at the wash stage yet? It looks like I might be and I'm working on this time I'm in a, the GW washes. I'm in a um, What's it called? Drakenho Nightshade, I believe. So I'm coming in um, and actually just applying some shade. Now, I'm using the wash in this case as a filter. So I'm actually um, spraying over the uh, the lighter parts of the model with the intent of actually giving it that blue tinge, bringing that blue tinge back. And you can see um, the Nightshade is a pretty rich uh, blue there. Uh, and you'll see that the it's actually just going to cause that um, that blue to gray to white highlight to pop even more. So I'm using the washes as a filter and I'm I'm actually um, controlling where I want to apply these. So I'm in uh, in the, the deeper parts of the model with the blue shade. Uh, and now you can start to see uh, how this is all working out. Uh, once the blue shade is down, now I will come back in with Druki Violet. So again, in the uh, Citadel uh, wash stage, and again, using it as a filter. Uh, what's nice about this is I can spray the Druki Violet directly over the Drakenhof Nightshade, and um, the transitions will look fantastic. So 
<laughs> a lot of airbrush, uh, you guys, on this model. But I think it's cool, and I, again, I think it calls for it. There's not, I could go, you know, old school and, and try to pick out all of that, uh, all the little bitty detail with uh, some dry brushing, but I just don't think that this is the right line for that. I really think you want to get away with that lighting. And you can see there's the model there um, and that scheme. Uh, so now I'm coming in with an ink. So I'm going to use a Vallejo model color blue ink, and I'm only going to do the visor because this gear does have a pilot and so I'm just using the ink um, and thin it down allow it to collect on the edges there uh, and that's just going to become the visor the other thing nice thing about the ink is it's, it's going to dry with a little bit of sheen and I kind of want that for the visor so while that's drying I have time to um, do a real quick job on the base now secret weapon um, about a month ago sold uh, what would what they call a bag of crap uh, I think it was like $30 or something for like a pound of resin. And this is one of the bases that came in that uh, bag of crap. And um, just really had a lot of fun buying that because of the, you know, you never know what you get um, and what you're going to find um, use for in that bag. So found this base, thought it would be perfect for uh, Legacy of Solomon here. And so I'm just giving uh, this base a base coat of Vallejo model color basalt gray. So that's going to take a long time to dry though because I thinned it down to the point where I want that gray to run in between the cracks. And now uh, I'm in Vallejo model color azure and uh, I'm going to use this azure to kind of clean up uh, some of the job I did with the airbrush. So you can see I'm painting in the, um, the kind of the upper uh, thigh pads I suppose that's what they are <laughs> and really what I'm doing with the uh, the Azure is I'm just trying to uh, bring a little bit more control to uh, the parts of the model you know even up for example um, this model's left arm ended up being a lot of blue and the right arm ended up being a lot of uh, violet and that's just the way the model was sprayed so I'm using the Azure to kind of bring them both to a common color there uh, and I'm doing some general highlights here. Those are, I guess, uh, what do you call that? The tabard? They're not really the, the little things on the side of the model's legs. They're just sticking out there, giving them a highlight with the Azure. And just uh, cleaning things up. The other thing I'm going to do with the Azure is there is, you can see I'm going to put a little lighting effect, a little reflection on that, uh, uh, that blue inked visor. So I'll make... Uh, kind of a semicircle on the left side of the visor and then one dot on the right and then to accentuate that I'm going to come in with Vallejo model color white and just highlight the uh, the inside portion of uh, that Azure highlight so that was the model color white uh, in addition I am just going to pick out very specific parts of the model uh, with the white here and again, this is all, you know, to just kind of give that model the, the light flowing across it type of feel. So I'm, I'm picking kind of the apex of its uh, chest there as far as catching light. And this is really the only, the only actual painting I end up doing on this model. I, I finished this model super fast um, and just had a blast doing it. I mean, it, it's, again... A lot of intricate detail, but really, your only job with these models is just to let the sculpt speak for itself. And and by you know by the proper placing of, of lighting and highlighting, uh, you can guide the viewer's eyes towards the right part of the parts of the model. Um, and absolutely, that uh, that blending gradient is going to catch people's eyes. So a lot of fun here. So again, this is the uh, Vallejo model color white. I'm coming in and highlighting um, and really that's all there the painting is for the model <laughs> so all I did was a bunch of airbrush and then I painted the visor and uh, just did a little bit of highlights now I'm just uh, finishing up the cobblestone base uh, adding a little bit of uh, uh, I believe this off-white to the uh, basalt gray um, and just giving it a giving it the base coat there and then coming in with a little bit more white mixing that with uh, that other previous mix 
and giving it some edge highlighting. So uh, this model, I mean, it, it's a beautiful model. It's a one of my favorite models in the whole range. It's not cheap, just so you know. It's like a $50 model, but I, I think it's it's well worth it. And you can see there just the stunning effect uh, that you can get uh, with just a little bit of tricks here. Um, and it, again, the quality of the model really doesn't have to do with the amount of time that you spent painting it. It really just has to do with um, your satisfaction with the result. Um, and uh, this model is, is just was just a lot of fun. Um, so I'm finishing up the model here, going to paint in the black lip. Um, and oh, I forgot to mention I did do some intermediate green because there's a little bit of a uh, little bit of moss or whatever, some vegetation on that cobble, growing in between the cobblestone. Uh, and the final thing I'm going to do is uh, uh, hit it with uh, some Agrax Earthshade just to get in between the cracks there. So that's it for this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Here's some stills of the model. Uh, and yeah, I had a lot of, a lot of fun painting this one and uh, just really enjoyed it. See you guys on the next one. Thanks.